Hello people, in this video we want to look at variceal bleeding, how to manage. Where are we guys? We are looking at portal hypertension. So portal hypertension will lead to a lot of portocaval anastomosis, right? Which will have a lot of varices which bleed. Okay, varices means what? Vein. They bleed because of the portal hypertension. So why all this happens? You know, prehepatic, hepatic, post-hepatic, cirrhosis of liver, some obstruction. So because of increased pressure here, in the portal vein in this place in the portal vein because of increased pressure there will be a lot of collaterals that develop right between the systemic circulation and the portal circulation so there are varices collateral channels or porto systemic shunts where like in the esophagus lower part of esophagus hemorrhoids that is around your anal uh, cavity anal canal caput medusae that's what they're showing here <coughs> you can see caput medusae here retroperitoneal anastomosis so a lot of things happen now these they start bleeding okay that is what is variceal bleeding so in this video we are trying to understand the prevention and management of variceal bleeding okay very important for your exam guys for your surgery exam and for your medicine exam very important so how will you prevent variceal bleeding means you have to just give beta blocker propranolol this is for prevention so for prevention you will give propranolol to reduce the heart rate and uh, the uh, this is what they're saying if there is a non-bleeding virus that means it has not started bleeding yet then you can give propranolol it is effective in reducing the venous pressure portal venous pressure it will reduce okay and it will also reduce the heart rate so only one word you have to write in prevention propranolol beta blocker okay that's it if you write this much is enough okay for prevention now if somebody is bleeding then how will you manage so in bleeding what they want to do is they want to restore the circulation so they will give blood or plasma to these people they will because they are bleeding so you have to keep the blood volume right so you can give blood or plasma okay that is blood transfusion plasma is also what blood so part of blood so you will give either blood or plasma to these people okay then what you want to do is you want to find the source of bleeding so how will you find the source of bleeding by endoscopy you will find the source of bleeding okay and then what you will do you will have to manage this bleeding you want to stop the bleeding okay parallelly anyways you also give prophylactic antibiotics to these people ciprofloxacin cephalosporin etc because sepsis is common okay so how exactly is to stop the bleeding we'll come to that now look at this flow chart so if, is there a variceal hemorrhage so let's start here is there a variceal hemorrhage then you will give tel terlipresin that is a vasopressin you will give to reduce this pressure so this is a pharmacological therapy so you will give terlipresin it is a vasopressin synthetic vasopressin analog okay so what it will do it will reduce portal blood flow and it will also bring down the portal pressure it will bring down the portal pressure that's all you want portal pressure will in decrease okay that is what you want what is the drug you are giving terlipresin terlipresin this you have to write in the exam okay terlipresin it reduces portal blood flow intrahepatic resistance it will reduce so it will bring down portal pressure very important okay so this you have to write now let us go to the next one urgent upper gastrointestinal endoscopy so because of all this um, you want to find a source of bleed right so you are going to do a gas uh, gi endoscopy and then you will check for viruses present yes or no okay so if the viruses are present you want to stop them from bleeding so they are talking about some surgeries like variceal banding sclerotherapy okay and uh, if there is no viruses then they will stop the sterlipresin okay see they're stopping they gave the drug and then they are stopping it after finding that there is no virus okay so anyways so if there is virus then you will do banding and sclerotherapy and after this banding and sclerotherapy what will you do you will check if it is still bleeding so you will check for hemostasis right then if there is a hemostasis achieved that means you have uh, uh, stopped the bleeding very good then you continue the sterlipresin then in, uh, you will introduce some uh, uh, beta blocker prophylaxis that is the propranolol etc for secondary prevention right they're trying to uh, prevent uh, any further viruses so they're giving this uh, propranolol and then uh, that's it so now the bleeding stop you are also giving propranolol to stop further bleeding terribly present you are giving so that the portal uh, pressure will decrease so this is it done now what happens after this variceal banding and sclerotherapy hemostasis still didn't stop it still didn't stop then what you do you'll further you have to do endoscopic therapy you can try balloon tamponade or you can try an emergency tips that is transjugular intrahepatic that is within the liver 
porto systemic shunt okay we'll come to that we'll show you this is tips trans jugular that is going they're going via the jugular vein to do this then they are actually putting a stent between the portal vein and hepatic vein so now what will happen the portal vein will drain into the hepatic vein right all the blood so what will happen the pressure in the portal vein will reduce and so this is the intention the intention finally is to reduce the portal vein pressure so basically um this is an emergency surgery finally only they are doing after trying all that this is tips that is trans jugular intrahepatic porto systemic shunt this i is standing for intrahepatic i h intrahepatic trans jugular t j i h porto systemic shunt the whole name should have been t j i h p s s what do you say people so this is uh, what they are saying okay so look at the uh, treatment uh, what how will you manage acute variceal bleeding you will give terli present very good what will it do it will reduce the portal uh, pressure then you will try to find the uh, varus and then you will band it or do sclerotherapy for that and then you will check hemostasis if steam hemostasis as achieved you will give prophylaxis proper and all uh, you will continue terli present etc if there is no uh, stoppage of the bleeding then you'll have to do further endoscopy and you can give balloon tamponade or tips emergency tips that is trans jugular intrahepatic porto systemic shunt okay and then also they are talking about some esophageal transection esophageal transection means um, what is esophageal transection surgical transection of the varices okay last resort but these have high mortality rate okay this uh, esophageal transection porto systemic shunt surgery these have very high mortality they don't even consider it looks like so you have understood what this tips is right just understand what this balloon tamponade is it is using some tube called as sings taken blakemore tube sings taken blakemore tube let's look at that this is that sings at taken blakemore tube you can see how this tube is um outside the mouth all these kind of crazy uh, multiple ports are there right outside the mouth all these are sitting inside at the esophageal uh, there's one balloon and stomach also at that entry of stomach there is one um, balloon two two balloons are there here you can see so this is a balloon tamponade so basically by applying tamponade you can um, stop the bleed isn't it so there are two balloons that exert they exert pressure in the fundus of the stomach and in the lower esophagus so basically what it will do it's putting pressure to stop the bleed we are not going in too many details about this okay guys so you have understood that uh, there are, these are the options that are available for managing esophageal uh, variceal bleeding okay so how will you manage ble bleeding you tell you will give iv fluids to replace the lost volume vasopressor terli present prophylactic antibiotics cephalosporin emergency endoscopy to look for the varus variceal band ligation to stop the bleeding proton pump inhibitor to prevent the peptic ulcer this is something new this was not there in the list phosphate enema and or lactulose to prevent hepatic encephalopathy so these two points are new especially this last one to prevent hepatic encephalopathy pro phosphate enema or lactulose okay this is something new so the blood will bypass the liver right so it will carry lot of toxins so in your list please add this also as the treatment okay people so in this video we have looked at the treatment how will you further variceal bleeding how you will prevent same propranolol okay